Now we're going to take a look at uh, Factory Talk Analytics for Devices. Now this is just an application um, box that you then deploy onto your network. So you, you buy it from yourself as a device, you plug it into your network and it will go out and find the first 100 IP addresses that it can find on the network. Now that's, that's from standard. If you need to configure that, you can do things such as whitelisting or blacklisting. So you can then get it down to specific IP address ranges if you need to. When you get online to the box, you'll be a you'll first see the system feed. Now, and this is quite a simple um, start page. So you can then ask Shelby uh, simple questions. So how many of the devices need maintenance? So if I click that button there at the top, you should then tell me. Uh, one out of four devices need maintenance. So it's giving you, you know, you can ask it like um, Cortana or Siri. You can ask it questions in the browser. You can also go then to the Explorer. Now this will show you what devices you have on your network. Now, because I've got a small setup here at home at the moment, uh, I've only got the application itself, the, the uh, appliance, sorry, itself, um, the 5380 controller, um, the GuardLink adapter, and the Palan B5510. I've also got the iLink Master. So what it's showing there, it's from a quick overview, everything's healthy, apart from it saying something, some actions required on the iLink Master. So if we go on there, it's then giving you an English that on channel zero, even tells me the sensor type. So a 42 EF sensor is about to fail because it's getting insufficient light being detected. So in the earlier demo, yeah, you would have seen we had the iLink Master and we were saying that it was getting, you know, um, it needed cleaning. So basically it's telling me there, um, the sensor's still working, but your maintenance guy should go and really should really go and have a look at it. So it's giving you again diagnostic information, but you've had to do no coding to get this. You've basically plugged this box into your network. It's gone out within like 10 minutes, populated this data here, interrogated the device, and told you that it, there's some maintenance required on that device. Now, if you look on the side there, there's some bars. So it's saying for the obviously the PLC, it's only got two out of four bars of diagnostic information. So if you go on there, it's going to say, "Yep, it's it's healthy." Um, it's 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 got this much utilization. So it's giving a quick overview. It's not much information. It's going to get out of a PLC. But obviously with the IO-Link, you've got four out three out of four bars. So it's then giving you see there, it's giving you more uh, data. Now, if was to go and unplug that sensor, if you give me a second, I'll just go and unplug it. Du -du -du. Now, this is where you'll see that uh, this is not real time this box so it's not like it's not meant to replace alarming on your control system it's it sat there you know as a simple de a deploy um supervisory system it's it's it, it's additional to your alarming so you wouldn't expect to wait for this to tell you that your sensor's failed but in a minute or two you should see that will then change to a, a higher level because then the sensor's been disconnected so hopefully we'll see in a minute that that will change so it can be used to give you some warning but don't use it as your primary measure for alarming there you go. So it says failed look. So channel zero is device is not connected or operational. So this gives you an interview of all your devices, but you can then go to what's called the action deck. So in there, this comes up as like a, a like a news feed, um, and it's saying that these were the these were the things that have happened in the past. So obviously they got resolved. So there was maintenance required because the sensor, you know, was on was on its boundary. Um, it's gone away, but now this is what this is now what's in progress. So it's actually failed there. Now, if you've got your vote up or vote down, so if you were only interested in the fact that it's a failure, I'll vote that up. Anyone know about failures? Um, you're not really cared if there's a, a maintenance requirement. You can vote that down. So next time something happens in the future, it will reorder those and say, "Yep, th this is what you need to look at," and ignore the things that you voted down. So it's got it's got like a, a learning model in the background.